Yeah, this ain't no love story. This y'all see that right there? That's me looking damn stupid. Y'all see that baby that's in there? Right. Not my kid. Damn. This is what women do to the men. Women do this shit every every day to somebody every year. I don't even know what to say for real, bro. This is embarrassing. Y'all see this shit? I'm holding another kid, man. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. Wow. Wow. With the photo too for proof. That's just one picture. Whole baby shower. This this months ago. So anybody that I'm talking to, this before any of y'all existed. This I went through. This one gonna put it publicly out there that this was my child. Had me all pictures. The whole nine yards. And knew the whole time this was my damn kid. When you consider that one third of these tests come back false, you know that a situation like this is very believable. Get your DNA test no matter what. This is some sick, low-down shit, bro. Who do this to people? Because if I told y'all how I really felt for real about this shit, bro, it ain't even about shouting. It's the fact that you think you a parent, bro. The whole doctor's appointments, watching the birth of this child, like, in the delivery room, watching, like, I'm there. And then some sucker come out the blue 11 months later, somebody he won the DNA test. Out the blue. You let a duck come back, man, that man and abandoned you the whole damn time. Wow. Come on, bro. Like, man, I'm thinking it's my kid the whole time, bro. The whole time she swears my... Man, I done turned down better paying truck driving jobs. I done quit jobs. The be hold on, hold on. Why are you turning down jobs, bro? Get up, Mo. And this one, my damn kid. This is some six. Y'all see this woman right here? It might be one of y'all friends. Yo, she blocked me on everything. She can't see shit. Sick as hell. Because I know she ain't put the truth out, though. They want to got the hell like they all so holy and wholesome. And try to threaten somebody to my son. Oh, I stoop real low. How do you been it in? Do what you going to do. This is some sick shit for real. It, the, and I really I really want to talk about this shit, bro. But it need to be publicly known what going on. Because I'm put the truth out, though. You gonna put it out there. You don't wanna say nothing about it, I'm gonna say something about it. Yeah, that what happened to me, y'all. A damn fool. A damn fool. <laughs> but I tell you, but like, that shit, every day, this shit in my mind, every day, like, damn, like, I already had a kid snatched away from me. I thought with mine, like, man, these women do some low down, dirty gang, cause they, they, they sick as hell, man. All fat, bro, like, I ain't even wanna. This shit here crazy, bro. Don't ever be this. Don't ever be me right there, bro. I went out like a weenie, shout it. A, a real weenie, bro. I'm holding another man's child in there, bro. I'm thinking it's my kid the whole time. Whole time. She got me oh, from from day one. Cause this was this is what I was with. I from day one, I'm thinking it's my kid, bro. A DNA wow. just come back that the dude is 99.9% the father. Sheesh. First it was, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I would never put you on your family, nothing like this. I'd never do nothing like that. When he hit her up, she was like, oh, she don't look, he don't, she don't look nothing like this guy. Now I, I cuss you out because I'm mad about the situation. Like, this this some real lame shit for real, bro. Like when in doubt, get the test. When in doubt, get the test. I and mean, there's plenty of dudes who've gotten the test have been like, all right, it's mine. And that's that. There's a reason these states don't want to make DNA testing mandatory. There's a reason. You know, because now it's not, any, it's not placed in anybody's default responsibility. It works better for them. Less paperwork, less, less confusion. And also, women now have somebody who they can lay that responsibility on. And be careful about signing that birth certificate because in some states, as soon as you sign that birth certificate, it's yours and it's too late. And of course, seek legal advice. Y'all, I go, I go to 10, but I'm, I go through there. Then I'm getting tests. Oh, I was praying you want her father. Then she had nerve to mention God. She said, God don't bless disrespectful people like you. You the last person need to be mentioning God. After what the hell you just put me through. Low down, dirty as hell. Low down, dirty, bro. This is foul as hell, bro. Like, real low down and foul. Like, 
I can't even really say what I want to say for real, y'all. This is normally a car channel, bro, but the shit I've been dealing with behind these cars, bro, from, from this little situation right here, it's been eating me up every damn day. Every day I got to deal with this shit. You know what it feel like? It feel like you just lost a child to death. A baby just been snatched away from you. been anxious, happy, getting in that mold, comfort, soft. Like, I got to lock in real quick behind something. And then this shit here, I found that I'm not. And this is just one picture. Right. It's just one y'all i only know who buddy is i don't know what buddy looked like so he's saying she knew that there was a huge possibility i think in most cases most of these chicks know unless if you've just been so much of a 304 you've been so heavy in the streets that you just have no idea can't remember and you know what that's possible too these chicks are wild but if this shit go big on big, I'm knowing he gonna see it. This shit be crazy, bro. Low down, dirty women play dirty games. As long as I ain't, I ain't calling out your name, cousin, y'all, I can say what I want to say. Cause this shit crazy. <laughs> dirty right here, shawty. Low down, dirty, disgusting. And then, mm. shawty go and say, I did something with y'all so close that I didn't know the days. What? You do something wrong with Tupac. It's an evil world out here. Pray to God. Find you a good woman. Yes, yes, I know, I know. Yes, they do exist. And stay out of these streets if you want some peace. If you want some peace, because I know some of you guys want me to say there's no hope. Everyone's going to die. Ah, no, no, no. People who win in life do not think that way. Right. Um, and I'm glad he's talking about this because this is an embarrassing situation that probably a lot of men are too embarrassed to actually talk about. Oh, man, I'm telling you, bro, it's sick out here, bro. Like, oh, I added up the date. Oh, this is after the fact, bro. Like. I get a text talking about some. Oh, we need. Can we talk? I'm like, talk about what? Like, what's going on? I ain't did nothing with you, nothing. Like, cause for some reason, y'all, I wasn't feeling emotionally. I, I didn't want nothing. I didn't want to touch this girl. I didn't want to do nothing with her. Like, something just was. In, something just ain't feel right. But I ain't even post the baby shower. None of that shit. Cause something just. Something just wasn't feeling. We did take a little break for it, and I skipped that part. We took a little break for like a month. The month we took a break, you popping that thing, get you pregnant. Man, I'm telling you, bro. These, man, these women are low down dirty, bro. Low down dirty, cuz. And I can really do most. I can do more about this shit, more about the situation. But I just had to get it on my chair, bro, because I'm a publicly had to be known that this right here, this right here, the woman right here, foul. F O U L, foul. You know what I'm saying? This shit crazy, bro. Crazy. They're every day getting out the truck. You need me down there. I'm pulling up about her. I'm watching the why you gotta go to work. You gotta do some business. I'm, I gotta. And then this shit right here. Oh, was a girl, by the way, y'all, if I didn't say that. I was in that girl dad mode for real. And this shit here. Man, it's like nigga chip and stuff, don't. But you hear me? Take this shit day by day, though, bro. Day by day. Day by day. It'll get better. Right now, I ain't even feeling nothing, bro. Yeah, listen, to my younger guys who watch the coffee pod. I'm not even going to argue with you because there's some of you guys who there's nothing I can tell you. You're going to end up in this situation. It hasn't happened yet, but you're going to go looking for it. For those of you who have ears to hear, let me promise you something. If you want to go through absolute hell, if you want to have a difficult life out here, keep playing in these streets with these women, getting them pregnant, popping out babies. If you want to continue being looked down upon, not respected. Keep letting your actions reflect the type of character you have as a man. Keep doing it. That's, that's, that's all I can really say. But you know what? Even if one person hears this and decides to change their life for the better, as in being intentional with the type of woman you associate yourself with, because it's not just about the kid. It's also about this woman obviously lacks the type of character and other modern women who are capable of the same thing lack the type of moral compass to not say, 
hey, I got to tell you something. This kid might not be yours. And you'd be surprised just how many chicks out here aren't willing to divulge that information. But you get the signs. You see it. Marry before you carry. If you don't plan to get married and cannot provide a two-parent household for that child, then wrap it up. Protect yourself or live in hell. Cre you create your own hell. your own Because no one at the courthouse, because the state isn't going to say, so what happened? Nope. Just us on the coffee pot. And if it happened once, don't let it happen twice. If it happened twice, don't let it happen a third time. If it's happened three times, you're F. No, that's not true. There's always room for improvement. You can, you can chill out now. Let's look at some of these comments and see what the people had to say. This commenter says, this happened to my brother and he was there the whole way through. My brother didn't find out until he didn't want to be with her anymore and she went to push him on child support and it came back not his this next commenter says this happened to my husband when he was younger i can't imagine i'm so sorry somebody else here says i'm so sorry this happened to you nobody deserves this our final comment here says this is so heartbreaking i'm sad for you Previously on the coffee pot, listen, I never thought I'd actually live to see this come to fruition. It looks like Tennessee has just passed a bill that will require mandatory DNA tests before signing the birth certificate. After the countless amount of false DNA um, reveals I've done here on my channel, I'm talking about men who have raised up kids and believe that those are their kids and have to face the brutal truth that it was all a scam that they got scammed and the woman knew the whole time now he has to figure out how he's going to move forward guys my question to you is how many women do you think will start getting locked up on a monthly basis if this was to hit all states how many wishful thinking i don't know but let's check it out All right, so those of you who are in Tennessee, guess what? House Bill 2689 is getting ready to pass. That is requiring paternity tests before you sign the birth certificate. Um, because, you know, once the, when people do paternity tests one third of the time, they end up not being the father. And if they start testing everybody, that number can only go up, not down. Um, it's it's, it's going to be dramatic. And right now they're, they're starting to also add in things like, you know, um, maternity fraud is a crime and a punishable crime so uh guys used to go to jail for not paying child support on a child that wasn't theirs because the state wants to get their money because if there is no father to pay for the child support somebody has to pay for it so they push it on to the nearest person that could be a father figure and they're actually starting to jail time the ladies for maternity fraud because it is such a rampant crime so I don't agree with a lot that they do in politics, but I agree with this one. The hustle is over. The scams are done in mm. the state of Tennessee. And I know some of y'all feel like, well, why should we have to do all of this? They should trust me because y'all be lying. The women be lying. And if you know that this is his baby without a shadow of a doubt, husband, boyfriend, baby daddy, it don't matter who it is. Let him go on and get that paternity test, sis. If you want to up and up, it shouldn't bother you. And for all of those women out there faking pregnancy mm. to scam men, mm. ooh, y'all big man now, ain't you? All right. As always, we're going to check out some of these comments, see what the people have to say. First comment here says, children have the right to know who their biological father is. And someone responded back and says, some of these 304s don't even know who the father is. We should know by now, based on shows like jerry and maury even though a lot of those are staged some of that stuff is very real we should know that a lot of these chicks are doing so much out here in the streets when i say doing so much i mean they're entertaining allowing other men to enter them raw <laughs> multitudes of men to the point where they don't even know who the father of that child is this will pose another problem that a lot of these states probably try to avoid which is why they don't want this bill passed it's like what do you do now okay he's not the father she's crying and um running to the back of the hospital like uh, you know <laughs> uh jerry springer style and what do you do at this point 
Well, now they got to figure out who the father of the kids are. They don't want to do that shit. They don't want to go on an investigation and find pookies. And who wants to go on a pookie scavenger hunt out here to find fathers of very highly educated women who apparently can make great decisions, unless if it has to do with procreating and choosing who's going to carry their bloodline. They don't want to they don't want to do that. So I'm curious to know what's the solution to that. You know, they're going to have pookie bounty hunters out here. I don't know. Comment down below. Comment down below. Another comment here says this should have been a thing a long time ago. Love it. Another commenter here added. I agree. It should have been done everywhere. Every city, every state, every hospital. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it'll, it'll, it'll be interesting. It'll be really interesting. This woman will be moving a lot different. You know, imagine you'd, you'd be moving a little bit different out here if you know you can't just pin it on the guy that you're with and there's jail time coming behind that. Another comment here says, I think every state should have this law. Another person here says, I've been on the wrong end of this, paid over 20K in child support in a year. Damn. She asked for more, never satisfied. DNA showed I wasn't the father. Mercy. Somebody else here, a woman says, my husband asked me to do one. It was no problem because I know I never strayed. Good for this chick, man. Good. I think every woman should just do one um, if her husband asks, which you should just, just for the peace of mind, you know? Because when you drink too much coffee, there's too many thoughts going through your head. Like, ah, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, her comment goes on to say, I believe they should be doing this in all states. Here's somebody else says, I always thought they should automatically make this a thing for all births, because why not? Listen, guys, as always, I'm Krishna. What do you think? Leave your comments and thoughts down below. I appreciate you guys checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pod. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.